Hi, I'm Jim Erickson, Editorial Director at Information Management Magazine, and I'm here in San Diego at the TDWI Conference, the Data Warehousing Institute, where they're a great instructional resource for a lot of folks pursuing BI, data management, and information management. And with me today is Cindy Housen. Cindy Housen runs BI Scorecard, which is uh, her service where the, uh, the products, BI products in our marketplace are evaluated. The uh, strategies are discussed. So Cindy's a consultant and an instructor here at the conference. Cindy, it's great to see you again. Thanks for being here, Jim. You Thank know, you. we caught up about a year ago and we were talking about some of the issues about what was on people's mind and this topic of Agile BI has resurfaced as, I think it's, you know, when I think of Agile BI, it's sort of the enabler of the Agile business. It really, it's, it's a requirement for serving the higher causes of business in terms of flexibility so it has the same kind of traits of agility and time to market and things like that. Um, what, what do you think are the central tenets of when we talk about Agile BI? So I think the big thing is that BI has to move at the pace of business, mm -hmm. which is fast. Right. It has to adapt in real time to changing business requirements. Mm -hmm. I, I think the, the most important thing though is that it's about collaboration between right. the business and IT. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and now that's very interesting. What are kind of the interfaces you're seeing? Because we're trying to translate the requirements of the business from those directors or the people running the programs or the campaigns to their IT counterparts in terms of what, what kind of collaboration are we talking about? Pretty high level in the organization? Uh, well, I think both. The interesting thing to me about Agile BI is uh, four years ago, I had never even heard of the term. And now, mm -hmm. just four years later, we're running a conference themed on Agile. Right. BI. And the way I stumbled across it was in researching these best practice award winners oh, okay. for my book. Mm -hmm. A common theme is that they were all using agile development techniques. Okay. And it was about the way they captured requirements. So if you think about traditional development, it's the business writes a very long documentation right. of their requirements. Right. You throw it over the wall. Three, six, nine exactly. months later, maybe exactly. you'll come back with something sure. useful. And Agile is less about documenting those requirements and more collaborating, having a discussion around what you're trying to achieve and building to those requirements in a collaborative way rather than in a rigid, strictly documented way. Exactly. I think Agile kind of describes where we sort of have arrived based on you know, our history of sort of these monolithic painstaking projects that have been accounted and recounted, you know, very often are kind of in our wake. So I think this is kind of the new clarion call for that interface between, you know, business and IT, or just, just forget about the IT and just go from business to information to the technology exactly, right? Yeah, even better. Yeah, even better. Now, the technology market has responded to this also uh, in terms of some of their tools and, and now you, you do a lot of work with those companies and you study a lot of what they, the products are. How is the, the technology market adjusted to the requirements for this and is it an important part of, of Agile BI? Well, I, I think some of the vendors would like to make it sound like it's important okay. and they would make it, they're, they're kind of trying to ride the wave of yeah. Agile and saying, well, guys, we, do, yeah. sure. we do Agile BI from a technology point of view, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's the right way to think of it. To be fair, some of these vendors that are using that tagline, they may give more control to the business people mm -hmm. to build their own reports and dashboards. Right. Right. Or there's one vendor that I'm thinking of, they allow more rapid prototyping. Yeah. So I think that is a technology solution that we do need as part of Agile, but I don't think it's the most important piece. Right, so we're going to get back to the people and the processes, yeah. aren't we? That's <laughs> yeah, where we always sorry. wind up, isn't it? <laughs> okay, well, so now the, the idea of Agile in IT traditionally, does that translate to the business idea of agility directly or is it just sort of an apples and oranges kind of way of achieving that point we talk about rapid iteration and and the ability to just scale the ability to just scope and 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 constantly revisit reiterate and not get lost in various compartments of activity right yes but the constantly revisit i think is where it is a little bit afraid of agile because they think it's never ending and a moving target and that's not what it should be. You still have your requirements, but it's less rigidly defined and it's mm. more you capture the requirements
requirements collaboratively, sometimes working side by side. So I'm thinking of one very successful company, um, a, a BI uh, Best Practices Award winner this year, mm -hmm. where they did not have their business users document their requirements. Instead, they, the IT developers sat down worked in the call center and got the requirements by right. looking at how they worked. And then they turned to the technology, they did their mm -hmm. proof of concepts, their mock-ups, right. and showed the user, is this what you want? Is right. this how you want it to yeah, work? Yeah, yeah. Kind of managed by walking around kind yes. of, kind of yeah. idea. Exactly. Well, that's that just typifies that disengagement, right? The throw it over the cubicle right. mentality that we had been working on. Um, you know, TDWI has, has their executive summit uh, with a lot of presentations and and the awards, uh, information management has a lot of magazines. You know, what is the community like for Agile BI? Is it, is, it a, is it an organization like this? Is there a resource or kind of an active community out there that people engage in? I don't think it's an active community. It's more how you view project management. If you mm -hmm. view the okay. traditional waterfall approach, right. we know that for business intelligence that does not work. Mm -hmm. I do think in terms of learning about how to manage a project using agile technology techniques or management techniques, scrum methodologies. Um, there's courses at TDWI that I recommend. Okay. Ralph Hughes is an yeah, author so that today. I would recommend. Sure. Yes. Um, so I think there are different places you can learn more about um, Agile. And I know the folks, uh, uh, Paul at, at, at TDWI, they're sort of they're sort of looking at Agile from a variety of perspectives. They're talking about Agile in, in, in the concepts, uh, context of the analytics and in terms of the infrastructure, the organizational kind of elements. So you're sort of taking sort of a, a common philosophy or mentality. And I think it's just, it's also just sort of opening the doors to other ideas of, of other ways to get at BI. You know, maybe a quick tactical solution. Maybe there's something in the cloud or, or, or a self-service kind of application or something. Just We're really just trying to get trying to get to the end quicker, cheaper, right? Right. Yep. right. Yep. And, and now cost is an issue here too. So is, is, do you think this whole agile trend is actually gonna over time lower the cost because we're maybe using less scattered resources or um, how do you think? There's think actually been some research done around do these projects take longer and do they cost more? And the findings are that they, they actually are shorter and cost less. Right. My theory is that it's because the requirements um, have been captured more in real time mm. and have stayed current. So right. they've been delivered more according to what the business really needed and could see and give feedback, critiques on on prototypes rather than just the theoretical documentation. Yeah. And last thing, there could still be a lot of sort of heavy lifting in certain areas of data integration and things like that, but do you find that the same resources are kind of condensing more in this environment that you have maybe fewer people on the, this coast or is it still the same kind of landscape? I think it depends on which component of the BI life cycle you're okay. talking about. So I do think the ETL, part is probably more systematic. I think mm -hmm. the closer you get to the business, the closer you get to the business users, that's where you need it more agile. So there was an example with Continental Airlines um, and JetBlue when this issue of long delays on the tarmac were no longer tolerated. Continental, because they use Agile in their BI development, they could add an indicator on their dashboard within just a couple weeks of the FAA coming out with these new guidelines. Yeah. Whereas most other companies, to change a dashboard like exactly, that would right. take months. So. Right, you know, I know a fellow here who's presenting tomorrow, Bruce, Bruce Yen from Guess. He, I profiled him in our magazine, and he's also uh, speaking here at TDWI. And he takes that mentality, and he just puts it out in the field. He's also adding mobility to that. So an airline, obviously, would be a great great spot to, to take that dashboard. And, and that might, might be just an extension of what we're talking about in terms of Agile BI, right? Yep. Okay, great. Well, great advice uh, from a great resource and consultant and author and instructor at TDWI, Cindy Housen. Uh, BI Scorecard, you can find her on the web at biscorecard.com. Yes. Exactly, great. I'm Jim Erickson with Information Management Magazine. Thanks very much. Have a great day.